guys, so we're back here for part two. Uh, I left off at keyboard shortcuts, now I'm going to get into making the browser your own. Now we slimmed down the browser, we've done some tweaks to speed it up and do, you know, uh, minor tweaks and, you know, stuff like that. But now let's customize it to your liking. So first off, I recommend getting a theme. I'm going to show you my theme. It's just, uh, I like my theme matching with my style or visual style or whatever theme I'm using for my uh, you know, Windows or Ubuntu or, you know, whatever operating system. I like it matching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my theme and enable all my add-ons as well. So, first off, I'm going to go to Themes and just hit... Mine's called In the Dark. I also have Black X. I don't have it installed right now, but it's another theme I like to use. Um, keep them to a minimum. If you're not using the theme, just uninstall it and install it when you, you know, want to use it. Uh, I recommend only keeping like two to three te themes if at the most, and then you you know you don't really need them all installed at once, unless you just like switch constantly. That'd be kind of weird. But anyhow, uh, head over to uh, if you head over to your add-ons, you can get add-ons here or get themes or whatever, or just head over to the Firefox page at Mozilla.com, uh, and they have a lot of add-ons and themes you can choose from over there. Now I'm gonna go through my add-ons real quick. TabMix Plus, huge, huge, huge help with tab browsing and. Firefox in general adds a lot more options than you know Firefox 3 comes with, um, but by the right now is the new Firefox 3.1 update. The new developer build isn't compatible. There's ways to tweak it, but that's really really confusing. I would recommend just getting uh, there's a I'll get a link for you guys that gives the older version of the development build. That way it actually uh still still compatible with Firefox unless you really want to tweak. Uh, the newest development build. It's not. There's not much. You know. There's just a couple bugs, but n you don't even notice some minor stuff. Uh, this is just a a step older, ver like a step down from what the newest version is. But the newest version isn't even compatible compatible with Firefox 3.1, so it's not even worth it. So I'm going to enable this. Next is stylish. Stylish, really really cool add-on. Basically, customizes the page for you using uh, styles from a site called userstyles.org that you can just load in as a script and it really does cool stuff like make YouTube black or gray, make Google gray, make Google red, whatever you want to do. Logmein, you don't really need this unless you want you access remote login using Logmein via the web. I use this just to connect to my PCs and friends PCs that are within Logmein. And of course I already showed you tiny menu. I have some more add-ons coming on, but right now, for the sake of this video, I didn't install a lot of them. And AVG Safe Search just came bundled with AVG, uh, the virus and antivirus protection. So after that, I'm just going to restart Firefox. And so again, these are look up my add-ons. I'm going to get more, obviously. Smart bookmarks basically makes a, f a favicon rather than uh, here. I'll show you what I mean. If I go to bookmarks toolbar, instead of having this text right here, I'll just show the favicon. I haven't installed right now, but that's another add-on I have. So you look here, maximize this. It's totally matching with my theme and everything. It looks really, really cool. And if I head over to Google, this is what Stylish does. Stylish, and it matches perfectly. Stylish is right there. You can just install Stylish, and then if you right click and say find styles for this page, it'll find you some. Or you can go to userstyles.org and just search there. Not only have I customized that, I customize uh, pages like Gmail. Again, I've customized Reader to be matching, Google Reader. And of course, I customize YouTube to be matched. So it just makes it feel really, really cool. And actually, I like black or gray because way, way, way easier on the eyes because white just hurts my eyes at night or, you know, the screen is just really, really bright. So yeah, back to Google. And um, Tasmix Plus, basically, if I open a lot of tabs, it has the features to, instead of using multi row, as you see here, it does, I mean, instead of using the arrows, it goes into multi row. So I have, you know, a row of tabs rather than having to go through with arrow, which I don't really like. The arrow, you know, left to right, I don't really like that stuff. Uh, you, you know, you can enable that or whatever. Now I'm going to have to close all these tabs. Here, almost done there. Okay, um, now, as I mentioned, tab mix plus, smart bookmark, tiny menu, and log me in. You don't really have to see log me in, just a little thing. But other than that, Tab Mix Plus also offers stuff like when I close my browser, I can set it to let's say I had an empty tab here. Let's say it was at Apple dot or Twitter. I'll just go to Twitter. Twitter here, and I close my browser all of a sudden. Whatever crash, PC crash, whatever. Um, then I open up Firefox again. Tab Mix Plus uses its own restoration manager to save all the pages you're at. So uh, you can set that if you go Tab Plus install it. Go to Tab Mix Plus options. 
head over to session and just and check that and then check and check enable session manager and it restores you know you can make it ask before restoring or just restore so that's really cool um and yeah guys so moving down i recommend these add-ons are really cool too if you want to check out if you're into social networking dig is a really cool and delicious download helper stumble upon foxy tunes basically integrates your songs from itunes or whatever and puts them in a little bar right here that way you don't have to switch you know between windows if you you know really don't wanna you want to keep firefox here's your main window and then foxy tunes is a really cool thing fox clocks is a world time clock so basically you can get whole different times from different places really cool grease monkey is scripts to cut, uh, make your page kind of like stylish but a little bit different does l different type tweaks it's really cool tab scope is a thing that like kind of like gives you a preview of the tab like uh... vistas you know preview when there's a minimized thing you go over it and it shows a preview what it looks like that's the same thing for tab split browser splits your browser in half so you can be surfing the web on one side and watching video on the other it's really cool i recommend checking that out too if you wanna if you're a multitasker or power user and you don't want you know being switching between windows or whatever and if you want everything in one window one firefox split browsers are really cool thing so there's a whole bunch of other add-ons you can check those are just some i recommended again those are mine and guys uh... that's it so we we started with the default and this is how it ended all matching all great all slim and you know much more efficient anyways guys hope you enjoyed uh... don't forget to check out the website at agentstech.com there's been some minor updates to the site if you notice uh... we're gonna get a new banner we have adsense on the top bottom of the page now um... teamspeak server as i mentioned before we have a new what is tech world section so yeah guys thanks for watching comment rate subscribe if you like the videos and thanks for watching